An emotional day in a Baltimore courtroom as some men and women abused at the hands of priests told their stories of survival. The hearing was part of the Archdiocese of Baltimore's bankruptcy proceedings. Now, the church filed for bankruptcy last fall, just days before Maryland law took effect that allows survivors to sue regardless of when their abuse happened. Investigative reporter Tracy Wilkins and the News 4 I team were in the courtroom today. When the Archdiocese of Baltimore first filed for bankruptcy, survivors were afraid that they would never have the opportunity to tell their stories. Well, today, they got that opportunity. The judge provided a safe space for them, and the Archbishop of Baltimore was in the courtroom. Archbishop William Laurie of Baltimore entered the U.S. District Court in Maryland to hear firsthand what survivors of child sex abuse had to say about the Archdiocese and how they say his predecessors allowed priests and staff to sexually abuse them. I came as, as a priest and pastor and someone who hopes that by doing this, I can contribute in some small way to the healing. Judge Michelle Harner ruled to allow the survivors to address the court, something that isn't guaranteed in typical bankruptcy proceedings, saying the court will provide time and space for listening. Lori listened intently as six adults told the stories of how their lives, and in some cases, their will to live, were taken at the hands of church leaders whom they trusted. One survivor who kept her eyes on Lori as she told of the years of abuse she endured explained the importance of giving her testimony. I am grateful I am allowed this moment and you are listening to me. She hugged Lori after sharing her story. Other survivors were not as forgiving. I wanted him to hear what happened to all of us and realized the church could have acted a lot earlier than they did. Teresa Lancaster, who lived through years of sexual abuse in her Catholic high school, chronicled in the Netflix series The Keepers, said she suffered years of deep depression and dysfunction following her abuse. Lancaster spent decades advocating for the passage of the state's Child Victims Act. Enacted last year, the law allows survivors of sex abuse to bring civil claims regardless of when the abuse happened. We finally got it passed, and now the church is stomping on it, trying to destroy it. The Archdiocese of Baltimore filed bankruptcy just before the law took effect. But the Archdiocese of Washington has challenged the constitutionality of the Child Victims Act in two courts. It was upheld in Prince George's County last month and ruled unconstitutional in Montgomery County last week. A case against the Hartford County school system also upheld the law. We have talked with survivors who wonder why the church is fighting the CVA and the constitutionality of it. Where do you stand on that? Um, the reason we entered into Chapter 11 uh, was so that we could, in fact, help as many victim survivors as equitably as we can, while at the same time, carrying forward the mission of the church. There are several challenges to Maryland's Child Victims Act making their way to Maryland's Supreme Court. Meanwhile, attorneys who are involved in this bankruptcy process say they don't know how long it's going to take. It could be several months or longer. Meanwhile, survivors are encouraged to get their claims in by May 31st. In Baltimore, I'm Tracy Wilkins, News 4 I-Team.